Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you all are well, having a great week, and that you're being safe and having a good time. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, enable notifications, and leave me a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying the series so far, how you're enjoying the game if you're playing it. And uh, I'm continuing with the main story. I have been going around a little bit, completing some uh, melon trials and doing some side quest upgrading and stuff. Um, so with this one, I'm going to continue with the main quest. I'm going to do the elf, the knapsack and the loom. Uh, so we're just going to teleport to the room of requirement. Go talk to Deke. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Let's grab some fertilizer. And we'll see. And identify my items. Oh, and Moonstone. Uh, let's see quickly. Here. Ah, and the one I've got, the purple one, is actually better. By one. Um. I'll sell it. Let's see this one. This one's better. And I use Incendio more. Oh, no, I think that's what looks horrendous. And this is another one. Oh, yeah. Con increases all spell or spell damage while concealed by disillusionment. That's a nice one. And I had Okay, let's just it doesn't look horrible, but yeah. Um prefer that look. And with this one definitely more that look. Okay, let's continue and tell Dick we're ready. I'm ready to learn to use the knapsack, uh, right, just before we do that. Um, oops, nope, not added yet. Okay, sorry. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing.
a nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, now I've got it. Okay, well, let's go. Invisible, so we can get close to them, and and let's change that to the. Okay, now also as you can see, this one has like a little star. Apparently, it doesn't do anything. It's just a uh, different. It just looks different. And then you just aim at it and... You've got one! Okay, um... One difference is, is when you're on story mode, there's not that button press, you just grab the animal, so... Just for intersect. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay, well, hopefully... Um, they do run around, but if you... Uh, get out of the area and come back they should be there or you can just go invisible and wait and they should come back to it uh, at least that's what I've been told and I've seen that they do come back a little bit okay um, now as you see on the map you do have these um, if you zoom in you've got these so that's um, where you can then get them and you've got all these that you can see, there's a Niffler Den, and so on. Uh, you just need to zoom in to see them. Okay, so he's over there. Yay, we've got a... Well, there's a moon calf then. Anyways, we've got like a uh, thing near it, so let's go... said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, and uh, something else is if you use um, Revelio, the animals uh, detect it for some reason when you scan them. So they do tend to like scatter a little bit when you use it even if you are cloaked hello Deke shall we continue oh good Deke was worried about you what with all the poachers in the area perhaps we should work quickly the jobbernals are just here in this large tree if it's helpful Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. 
See, like they said. <laughs> Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. I have to admit, on the one hand, I hate how these how owls are treated sometimes by some people. And although they are cute and stuff, sometimes I just feel sorry for them that, like, how meek they seem. And, like, some of them even, like, punishes themselves when they don't do right by their master, when their master is completely wrong. But anyways. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. <laughs> we found at different locations in the world, wherever there's a beast habitat, you can be sure to find magical beasts nearby. Okay, so let's cloak. Uh, I think I might actually uh, make the Leviosos instead of the brush for the moment just to like they say try and make it easier I don't see any special one of the uh well, let's grab the Female. Yep, I'm not close enough. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Might have to go for a mile if I. Oh, here's one. Uh... Oh, you see, it is like now these button action presses. <laughs> Everything's all right now. Okay, let's leave them alone. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Well, that's the one right over there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So. Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. 
Deke's friends were not as fortunate. See, like I mean, I feel so sorry for them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. And luckily, I do have a way to advance time. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but before we do that, let me show you. So now you've got your beasts and the ones you've got. And then as you see there, it shows the like star thingy. Requirement and beasts. Okay, that's just like a, a scenery thing you can put down. Early week house spellcraft. Okay, so map and you just on the PS5 controller you just press it three or three. Okay, so now the moon cores are supposed to be here. Let's see how many action things they've got. Let's see any special ones again. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Oh, this is annoying. The story mode is a lot... Okay, well, there's some time left on it, but now I've lost it. So, okay, let's... You see, even Cloak, they do still see you, sort of, so... There we go. Uh, wrong one. Do cooperate, won't you? It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay, let's go back to the room. I'm going to become a zookeeper. <laughs> uh, Hogwarts. And there. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. 
Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Okay, so in here you can just uh, tap R1 on the PS5 controller and release them. Um, it does look pretty cool. Um, but it's anyone that's seen Magnificent Beasts, um, no, but unfortunately it's not as big as that in the movie. Uh, it does have its limits. Like I think this is about the limit of it. Uh, you see, even in the swim, you can't swim past the... But the thing is, is that's kind of... Uh, cool is you do if you want you can confirm moonstone here I don't know if it does replenish or how long it takes to replenish and also there is like these little secret passages that has like a chest that has some um, scenery that you can put Rebellion. Uh, yeah, once again, Rebellio does reveal it, so... Uh, but I have to admit, it does look pretty awesome. Okay, so let's release them. Now you press R1, and then you can select which ones you want. And as soon as you do, they, they are in the area. Let's just... Oh. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. <laughs> just look kind of funny with those huge eyes. Oh, I never even saw that webbed feet. Anyways, um, okay, so I just wanted to show you, um, as you see, you can only have three, uh, four species, and then three out of 12, so you can only have 12 animals in here, and only four different species. Um, well, let's... Change this back again. See, it becomes a bit of a pain. I wish they had like a separate wheel or something for the taking care of animals and stuff. Okay. 
Deke thinks you are doing good work here. If you are having trouble uh, targeting the one you want, you can just use your target thing. And also, like I said, is you can't brush them while they are eating, so while they're in that animation, you can just feed another one or something. Okay, and then as you see, it says, like, it has that uh, picture above them, and you can collect. And then it's normally like about 30 minutes, 25 minutes. Cool down. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay. Let's put the loom over here. I'll move it when it. Ah, oh, no, I need to <laughs> get different spells again. And here's the loom. Okay. And once again, you can change the color of it. Okay, so now, now is the big thing where the gear comes in. Uh, you can just pause and read that. Just tells you where you can get the traits and stuff. So this is where the big difference between legendary and those gears come in. Now uh, first off, you can change the trait if you don't uh, like the trait that it's got. Um, uh, so with the PS5 controller, it's uh, square to view upgrade and triangle to view traits. And it's three of the journal feathers. Now what happens is, is if it's a defense thing, it adds offense, and if it's an offense uh, or piece of clothing, then it adds defense. Ooh, and we're level 25. And as you see, it becomes pretty expensive to upgrade it all the way. And then, let's see. Okay, this one doesn't have a trait. So let's add a trait for this one. So this is the ones I've unlocked so far. Um, I think I'll go for the ambush one. Uh, I can't, I do not have the Dairy Call Feather. Um, so let's go for the scorching one. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. And there's Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. 
For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, quests and lovely mask. <laughs> So this is the legendary set, it seems. So if you go to gear, uh, no, not that. There's the legendary cape, uh, the legendary armor. And the legendary face mask. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Okay. So, as I like the legendary, the armor set. But I don't know, the cape kind of looks a little bit stiff. <laughs> I'm not a fan of what the capes look like. Might be some of the better things that uh, this looks like if you want to be a Cape Crusader. Um. Uh, wrong button. Okay, uh, so quickly show you uh, Hogsmeade and uh, the tombs and scrolls. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Follow the mini map. Might be a longish video again. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. I just want to like I don't know if you know this, but if you go to this book and you go to interact, it brings up the staircase. So if you want to get up there, I think there might be a chest up there. But yeah, just thought I'd show it if it wasn't in a previous video. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, so this is one of the things you want to buy now, uh, or what I would suggest, Beast Feeder uh, Spellcraft. Nothing like finding just the right uh, There's a Beast there. Toy Box if you want. That's kind of, like, useless, but it is fun and stuff. And these are just the other potions, the medium and stuff. Like I said, it's kind of like... I've got the large, so why would I want these? But anyways, like you say, I should see I've got 8,000 galleons, so if I really need money. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. And then now, um, this one opened as well. Brood and pick. Let's show you quickly. Sorry, I just thought I saw something flying there. There's... I knew I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> I told you not to go down. 
Okay, they uh, own for stranded beasts and is the only vendor that will purchase beasts you've collected in your inventory. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, Hello. She said I just wasted Mind you, don't turn quick. There you stuck are. with a Dora oh, call feather. Hey, doesn't half hurt. I have enough for that wind whisk. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll push you, as always. I wonder if you can capture these. Okay. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derrickals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Sounds frustrating. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was. But add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Well, she's a talker. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Okay, so like you say, if you don't have the beast, you can buy it here, but they are kind of expensive, especially when you start buying three, four of them. Okay. Um. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Didn't she say she's not stocking door with dairy claws anymore? <laughs> um, if you do have... Now, what you can do for money if you really need it um, is you can go capture beasts in that bag and then bring it to her and sell it they do go for i think 120 uh, galleons it doesn't really matter which beast i think they're all exactly the same um but like i say just some people say it's poaching and stuff but like i say you bring them to her and she finds a good home for them so i don't think you should feel bad about it but yeah, that's one way to make money if you're really desperate. Rebellion. Hey, purple gloves, just like that. Well, that's one way to get inside. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. And there's a little guide. I see as you can hear there there's no ding anymore since I got that. Okay, and then I want to show you one more thing in this video that I really think is cool. 
right over there and I'll travel to over there. How nice to see you, my young friend. You're not seeing anything. Revelio. Okay, I think you might have come. Uh, there it is. I think they also appear only at night. But you can get a unicorn. And like I said, I think they look pretty cool as well. So, um, this is the only one for the unicorns that I know of. I haven't seen any other of it. Um, even like looking on the map thing, the interactive maps, you can look on the uh, gaming sites. And also there's only one year per time and um, you do get a golden one which is like the special star one of them but it's very rare okay and on that note hope you all are well and have a great day and see you in the next video